Hey, welcome to Retired Rider in the Tiny Shed. Hope that you're doing well today. We're gonna talk shocks today. Um, if you guys watch the channel at all, and I know a lot of you do, <laughs> obviously you're watching now, but uh, we have air shocks, we have dirty air shocks on Throat King. And uh, I'll be putting up pictures as we go along talking about the shocks. But anyway, we have the dirty air, air shocks. We um, have the switch up here that um, of course we can adjust the shocks or whatever in the air and shocks. But I was really excited to get those shocks. I really was. And with installation and the cost, I think it was like 800 bucks. So, but they're good shocks. They're, I thought, man, we'd have a problem with airlines leaking, things like that, those kind of situations. But no, I um, guess we've had them on there for a season already. And I have, you know, they've been sitting out here in the wintertime and we have had no issues with leaks in the, in the system at all. But the problem is I'm not liking them so much. Um, I got to adjust them when I'm up, uh, on the bike by myself. Then I got to adjust them when the bike wife's on with me. And it's just like, it seems like it's a constant get it in that right sweet spot area and and most of the time i can get it there where i want it but it seems like especially when i'm on the bike by myself i can't get it in that sweet spot it's always hitting hard or or you know it's just not riding right so we all know what came on these harleys a lot of them are these i don't know what you call these things yeah clickety yeah whatever these are but these were, this definitely wasn't getting it done, going up through the mountains, going places that, you know, doing the twisties and things like that. These were definitely not getting it done. Now the dirty air, air shocks, definitely made a difference. But uh, yeah, and I don't understand why you go from a bigger shock on this side to a smaller shock on this side. I mean, the suspension on Harley's horrible. We all, we all know that. We've talked about that several times, but I was watching Marine Riders channel and he was talking about the new uh, suspension that he had put on his, his bike. And it's um, from what he talks about, they're great. And I've been looking at them and I'll put them up here. I've been looking at them and going from what he said and then doing research on their website and things like that. I think we might make that move to suspension technology they um they seem to have it down pat they seem you know from, from seeing his video check his channel out marine rider great channel check him out he does good reviews but it seems like they got it down they dial you in they dial what you do in how what your weight is what, what you carry on the bike what you if you're two up or one up <clears throat> so i'm thinking that's the route we're going to go the only problem is I haven't had these air ride shocks on my bike, I think one season now, maybe two, I, but I believe it's just one season and spent about $800 on them. Now convincing the wife to go away from that, go to these new ones for $800 is going to be a, yeah, that's going to be a chore. But I'm sure with a little sweet talking, maybe a nice steak dinner or something <laughs> and whatever else it takes, um, we could talk her into it. But I think that that's the route I'm gonna go. I mean, I could bring you down here and show you the shocks, but I mean, I could show you a picture of them just as easy. But uh, that's what we have. Of course, I have to take off the, uh, the pump and I have to take off all the wiring and, all, and everything and then put the uh, shocks, the new shocks on. That way I don't have to worry about air, I don't have to worry about adjusting them, they'll be adjusted. And if I guess, uh, from what I've seen on his video, Marine Rider, you can adjust them yourself, but he says they pretty much get them dialed in for you on what your riding style is and everything. So now, uh, it's going to, listen, like I said, listen to his video, watching his video, and <clears throat> going to their website, I believe, that's the, I believe that is the case. And I believe it would be a great choice. So right now it is all about convincing the wife whether you know she'll let me buy them or not but uh and yeah as i was just talking to you i was thinking too maybe we should leave the air pump on there leave everything on there as far as much as we can just in case we're not satisfied with the with the uh, new uh shocks 
but I think we'll be satisfied. I, 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 I just, I'm just, at first I thought these air shocks were like the, the best thing since sliced bread, but as the time went on and having to adjust, and then when we have a big load, when, when most saddlebags are packed full, and the trunk's packed full, and then it's me and it's her, and it feels like the front end's doing this, and, and it's just like, I don't know, I, there's gotta be something better. So that's what we're gonna try. We're gonna try to go to that better shock. Well, I'm gonna try to convince the wife to go to that better shock. And uh, let me check that price real quick again. But I do believe it was $800 for that, for that shock, for those shocks. Give me just a second and I will check and see if that's what it was. Of course, when you want to find something on your phone quick, you can't, you know? That's how it always goes. Let's see. Well, shoot. I know I had it on the screen here. I saved it. Come on now. Come on now. Yeah, here we go. Sorry guys. Yeah, it's almost 800 bucks. 700, you might as well say 800 bucks. So we're looking at 800 bucks. Now we did get the the front forks done. Uh, we upgraded those. And to be honest with you, I don't remember what they were, what that, what they were called to be honest with you. Um, but uh, that's done. And that feels a lot better than what it did before. And I'm, I'm pleased with the front fork suspension that was re, you know that was upgraded. I'm pleased with that. Um, but I'm not. I mean, I'm just not. I'm just not pleased with the. Uh, and I'll put a picture up here of what we did to the, what we put in the front forks. But uh, I'm not uh, not too pleased with these air shocks. I'm just. I just. It's just. It's not working for me like it did in the beginning. It seems like. I'm getting more and more frustrated with them. So we're definitely gonna to have to go to something else. And I'm hoping to God my wife agrees with it and lets me buy those. And um, you know, I'm looking forward to getting them. And I better not look too forward to getting them because she might say no. And you know how it is, you're married. It's no, it's no. But the wife's been pretty good when it comes to the motorcycle. So she might she might block me for a little while on something, but then she'll say, well, if you, if we really need it, go ahead and get it. If it's going to make the ride better, go ahead. If it's going to make us safer, go ahead and get it. And I do believe, like I said, doing research on her website, looking at what they got, I do believe it will make us safer. And I do believe it will, suspension technology shocks, will make us safer. It, it will make us safer and it will make the bike handle better. And I, I, I do believe that. After watching Marine Rider, watching his uh, vi video, and like I said, probably for the fourth, fifth time now. Um, doing some research on my own too. I believe, I believe it'll, it will help us out tremendously on our ride. So that's the direction I'm going. If, um, I definitely will keep you guys updated. If we do, if the wife does go ahead and okay it, and we do do it, I will put them on myself. Uh, it's not that big of a job. So I will definitely put them on myself. We'll have to pull one of these bikes out of the tiny shed but we'll get it done or we'll do it, you know, under the um, carport over there. But we will get it done and I will do it myself. So if we do, if it does come to it and I do get them, and I think I will, I think I will, I think I will be able to pull it off. Uh, I'll, I'll take you guys along with me and we'll do the job together. Um, and we still got, like I mentioned almost every video, we still got some work to do on the Valkyrie here behind the Valkyrie to get it ready to go. Uh, nothing major. Do have to adjust the rear shocks. I mentioned that before. If anybody out there knows how to adjust those rear shocks and, and what's the best setting to have them on or anything like that, if you know, or if you could send me anything that tells me how to do it the best way and what best setting it is for two up or whatever, let me know. Put it down in the comments section. I, I would appreciate it. If you know anything about suspension technology, if you have their shocks for Harleys, let me know about that too. Let me know how, um, how you feel about them. You know, do they work for you or are they doing the job? I would appreciate that too. Hey, you know, like I said, I'll keep you guys informed. And as soon as I order those shocks, I'll let you know. And we will do a video, put those shocks on the Harley. 
Anyway, you guys have a great day. Be safe out there, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care now. Thank you.